Good day everybody. Today I am going to present you a little project that I did for uh, personal satisfaction and also that can be used uh, for work in my case. It's a little DC constant current uh, sinking load bank and uh, here is the final product. It fits on a little, oops, that's a little bright, uh, it fits on a little breadboard and you can see the track that I made for uh, the high current and right now with the fan and heat sink very, which is very very small I can only uh, load the, the bank with about 20 watts of power regardless of the voltage that I input in All uh, even though the MOSFET can sink about 50 amps but uh, it's still usable for depending like what I wanted to do and uh, I should have used a less bright the LED so right now it's hooked up to my little power supply and as you can see this is not voltage it's actually uh, current it's right now it's about 500 milliamps and if I play with the little potentiometer right here if I can get it in I can actually increase as well as decrease and the good thing that um, this low bank has, let's let's say about 500 milliamps. If I go here, and you see I'm, I'm having about 9.5 volt. Let's increase that to about 15.3 eh, volt. Sounds good. If we return at the current, as you can, as you can see, it's still the same. So it, it's, it will constantly sync the same amount of current regardless of the voltage that's, that's on the uh, input, which is kind of nice and this is what I wanted. And it, it can also be used for uh, sinking current for, for uh, sinking current, sorry about that, for high power LED. So of course this is all analog. There's no pulse switch modulation happening in here it is it is, uh, purely resistive load bank so everything that is not being drawn is actually being synced as a heat uh, sorry everything that is being drawn uh, draw for a current is being synced as heat in the, the MOSFET and right now it, oh, it's it's warm it's not I wouldn't say it's hot and the big piece of wire that you can see here let me turn on another light so we can see a little bit better this piece of wire right here is actually my big shunt resistor. It's a piece of um, heating element for a sealing machine that I, we, I had to repair and that's the leftover of the filament. So I just went there and attached it on the post and the good thing is I can remove I can remove it and put something else for a resistor like a one ohm resistor and then I can just put my multimeter right here and I can actually have a reading of the current that's being drawn or I can actually remove this and put the multimeter right in there and this one is actually the on the circuit right here the 300 milli ohms resistor which can actually be anything from a hundred of ohm to whatever the 10 milli ohms and the only thing that will set is the maximum the actual load bank can withstand the lower that resistance is the higher uh, current the load bank will actually be able to sink now you have to be careful because the MOSFET will have a tendency to overheat if you draw too much but then again well be smart when you when you make one of these and uh, have a proper heat sink for the amount of power you want to um, to sink so uh, there it is it's very very uh, well very very minimum part I know you can make probably a way more accurate one with op amps and probably combining Arduinos and all that good stuff, but I wanted to make one as simple as possible and I got this circuit off uh, internet and I wanted to test it. So of course it was tested on a breadboard before mounting it to um, the circuit itself, but uh, I kind of love that little uh, load bank and uh, as for the MOSFET itself, or the let's say the the uh, the current the voltage that it can sink I can actually go as low as one volt depending on the uh, power of the the current that I actually have it set so I have one volt here 
and it's it's a little bit lower but it's close enough and the reason why it's probably because of my uh, shunt right there I, I assume if I have a smaller one I could be able to draw more at lower current but uh, for what I'm going to do with it it is uh, more than enough and it's a good little project for uh, people that needs a constant current sink or even power supply meaning like you powered it and then you power your load after that in series and then you can have that limit the current to whatever you want <laughs> alright thanks for watching